Everyone talks about Darwin as before Tracy and after Tracy. There's a lot of us that can't forget that Christmas. So Christmas of 1974, I was seven, and uh, my parents were having a party, and they used to throw the best parties. They were real about town kind of people. I grew up in a very bohemian family, literally bohemian, because my father was a Czech refugee. My mother is a Noongar woman from Western Australia, which is where they met. And we celebrated Christmas on Christmas Eve because of my father's Czech Catholic history. And that's what we were doing uh, that night. It was like, yeah. For me, it felt like a very innocent time and I didn't want to miss out on the fun, so Mum put a mattress underneath the dining table so that I could fall asleep and still be part of all the action. Yeah. No, I'll tell you that. She should it's be drinking. Yeah. Looks like a big green carpet over the mattress. When my family woke me up, I just instantly knew that things weren't OK. And that's when we uh, all went down to mum and dad's room and just waited there for a while on their bed. And it was really lucky that they made the decision to go and stay in the bathroom instead because the room that we'd been in uh, completely blew away. Rana, jump in the bath. The general thinking of the time was that it was good to stay in a bathroom because they were generally in the middle of a house and had tiles. So we're a bit stronger and a bit safer. And my mum and my sister and I put a mattress over the top of us in case anything came flying in through the window. It was dark and we were all crammed in together and Dad sat with his back to the door, with his feet against the bar, stopping any wind pressure from blowing the door open. The dog was probably just cowering there, I think. Everyone was just being really quiet. The most significant thing about the sound is that I can't remember it at all. The only sound that I remember is listening to the ABC radio. A tropical cyclone Tracy was sent at 80 kilometres west northwest. At one stage, the roof completely blew off the house, and I could see the sky. I have some memory of leaves thrashing, um, shadows of leaves thrashing on the wall. What I would say about how it's affected me is. Until I moved to WA about eight years ago, nowhere felt like home. <clears throat> I felt like I was still blowing around. I think it is just the, um, the decades of not being settled until I got here. Like they're the different places I've lived different states in Australia, different cities or different towns. I live in Perth now and this is my mother's country, my Noongar country, so it's where I'm, I should have always been. I know that it kind of seemed to traumatise Australia. I guess we were probably traumatised. We don't really talk about it, um, yeah. I just don't celebrate Christmas and I, um, I just let it pass. I just wait for it to pass. Cyclone Tracy is just something else separate. I don't know that it even feels like it was a Christmas. It's the Christmas that wasn't Christmas, so.